What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video we're going to start our Bing sequence, another 10 or so videos, however many it will take, uh, to cover kind of the Bing chapter. If you followed through with me uh, through Google, uh, Bing will be pretty much the same. There are a few differences, such as for tracking, for remarketing, for keywords, for split testing. There are different ways to do all of that, and that's what I will show you. Uh, but some of the things are the, pretty much the same, like creating a campaign. There's just going to be like one or two things that are going to be different, but I'll do it anyway just to kind of keep the consistency of this chapter. Um, if you haven't checked out my Facebook uh, kind of playlist and my Google AdWords playlist check them out I'll put kind of the cards up above uh, but with that out of the way let's get started so when you log into your Bing account Bing ads um, awesome awesome uh, network by the way uh, when you do let's go to create campaign so it has the exact same setup as uh, for Facebook and Google, where it has the campaign, the ad group or ad set, and then the ad itself. So let's go click on create campaign. And let's say what the goal is. So the goal, it's kind of similar to Facebook in this regard. So in Google, we didn't really have this option, right? Or I think we, we may have. But anyway, um, what this does is this basically optimizes. So depending on what you pick, if you pick conversions, you'll need to, of course, put the tracking pixel and all that in there. So I'm going to go with visits for now. Uh, but but basically, it optimizes um, your campaigns and it gives you kind of recommendations on the side here. It's going to say, you know, um, add these five new keywords. If, if you've done Bing or Google in the past, you would know that, that they give you some recommendations. And depending on what you pick here, that's what those recommendations will be suited for. So probably the best one is conversions, but clicks is still okay, right? It's still good uh, because you don't have to kind of listen to those recommendations. You you do your do your own thing, right? And I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you some tips as well. So let's enter a name. So uh, in our previous videos, we've gone through this kind of CB passive income. So I've changed it up a bit. Uh, as you may recall, we started with diabetes, but I was not able to log into that page anymore, so I changed up by picking another random uh, ClickBank product, which was the CV Passive Income, okay? Like I said, totally random, uh, and that's what we'll be working with. So uh, let's name it that. Let's say uh, CB Passive Income. Uh, we can use settings from another campaign, which basically pre-populates everything. Pretty convenient. Uh, we don't have to. Now, a cool feature here, as opposed to Facebook ads, for example, is you can actually make a campaign budget. Facebook campaign budget, for some reason, like the minimum is 800 bucks, uh, which which I have no idea what they're thinking. Some of the things Facebook does, I, I have no idea what they're thinking. So um, let's let's start with five, just in case the campaign goes live. I don't actually want to spend any money on this crappy landing page. Uh, choose the... So that's your budget for the entire campaign. Uh, you can choose your language, obviously, right? Um, I would probably just go with English. Uh, where you want your ads to appear, this is incredibly important. Something you can change later. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, but like like you saw in the video on kind of Max Bounty, the comparison between Clickback and Max Bounty, Max Bounty uh, says that you must have traffic come in from only certain locations. This is perfect. Um, this is a perfect way for you to kind of control that, right? So you, let's leave it at US and Canada. And this thing as well, so who should see your ads, kind of again, the same as in Google. Um, if you say people in your targeted locations, so let's let's uncheck mark that. What's going to happen is if I'm targeting people in the US, only people in the US will see my ads. If I check mark this, for, for example, and I uncheck mark that, then people that are not necessarily in the US, people that are saying, for example, suppose our keyword will be CB passive income. They say CB passive income United States. If they say that, then my ad will show to them. So that's up to you if you want to do that or not. This this feature really works well for, for tourist uh, kind of businesses where you don't want to target, if, if, if you're giving a tourist uh, um, tourist run through of, of, a, of a city in the States, New York, uh, and you don't want to target people who live in New York, right? Of course, you want to target people outside of New York, then you can say uh, New York tours, New York tour guides, right? Those would be your keywords. And then you would select this option because you don't want people in New York necessarily seeing this, right? Or whatever your goal are, but but that's kind of the basic idea. So I'm just going to go with people in your target location because that's the easiest one, but you can have both. So you can actually check mark both. Uh, but that's too broad. I, would, I wouldn't recommend that. You're going to get some clicks that don't re relate, right? So I'm going to go to save, go to next step. Again, depending on your business. So uh, here we are going to put our website URL. So now we've created our campaign, uh, just like 
in the previous uh, add add videos we need to make an ad group and then an ad itself so let's create our ad group um, here we're gonna put in our URL so what I'm gonna do here is I will just put my basic URL here first I'll leave it at that uh, and then I will go into tracking with you in another video I'll, I'll show you how to do that ad group name um, I like to name my ad group based on whatever keyword set I'm, I'm doing so um, depending on kind of which keywords I'm targeting. So sometimes maybe I'll target, you know, people that, that are interested and that know uh, CV passive income, I'll target that. Another set of, another ad set um, group of keywords I'll target is people that uh, want to make money online and they're typing in how to make money online. For those people, I'll show a different ad set because they will have different ads, right? And they're gonna have different keywords. So the difference between all those ad sets is in the keywords. That's the only difference between ad sets. The difference between campaigns is the demographics the location you cannot change that in the, in the ad sets but in the ad sets the only thing that, that differentiates them is the keywords so let's select an ad group name let's say we want people um you know people who want to uh, make money online right name it whatever works for you but this is kind of uh how how i run through them down so in this case, we're going to want keywords that, that relate to that. So people type in, you know, maybe how to make money online. Um, passive income, stuff like that. I'm going to leave it at two. I'm not going to go into too much in, uh, detail here. Um, I, but what, what you would do is you would pick, right, depending on your ad group and kind of what the focus of your ads will be, that's the keywords you want to put in. Uh, for example, your ad for someone who already knows about CB passive income should not be the same as an ad for someone who has no idea about it. They're two completely different audiences. They will they, they will respond differently to your ad. So so make sure you keep that in mind. So um, let's go save a next step for now. And let's create an ad. So we, we have different options here. We have a basic text ad uh, and we have an expanded text ad. Pretty much the same thing. But as you can see here, that's kind of the expanded text ad. It takes up more space. Uh, the text ad is just a bit shorter and it doesn't show it here. But it's a bit shorter. There's only title and basically the text. That's it, right? Whereas over here, you, you have two titles and then you have text. So let's create that here. I'm going to put in my final URL here. Now, this is especially important for... Bing, I believe, Bing or Google, either one. Uh, in, in, important in terms of you need to put in your final URL, not the tracking link here, okay? We'll get to that in another video where I'll discuss tracking templates and, and all the different bonuses you have that come with it. Uh, but you need to put in your final URL here. So again, we're using Click Magic. Um, here's my primary URL and I'm gonna put that there, okay? So let's, let's name our title. Uh, so in this case, we're targeting people who want to make money online. So let's say, want to earn passive income I'd recommend capitalizing every first letter uh, it just stands out more okay you're if I could I would I would probably capitalize every single word yes it may be obnoxious but it stands out um, you can't do that so I'm just going to capitalize as much as I can which is the beginning of every uh, word want to earn passive income uh, check out CB passive income something like that again don't 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 copy me exactly I, I, I don't know if this will work for you uh, over here you can put a path so path is basically a continuation over here so maybe say like if there's a free trial maybe say like free trial and say um, super awesome right and then here you can put an ad text so um, you know internet guru uh, whatever that guy's name is um, I, 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 I don't know his name, say, say Chris, I really don't remember his name. You know, Guru Chris um, has come up with the perfect solution for you. Try it out now. And I like to, I like to include a call of action. Uh, that is important. You have no idea. I've done a lot of split testing. I've done a lot of ads. The best performing ones are ones with a call to action. Like if people see your ad and it is what they're looking for, but there's no call to action, they may not even click it. Crazy, but that's the way it works you must have a call to action i guess to kind of symbolize to them that hey i'm here to make this easier for you click me okay works wonders so make sure to put a call of action um with a perfect solution for you uh, 
let's remove the period for now, but uh, it, it's it's only 80 characters. That's the sucky thing about uh, these ads, Google Ads and Bing Ads, is you, you have this limit. Sometimes um, you can't put everything you want to, but that's what uh, you got to live with. So let's click Save. Uh, it will show you what it's going to look like on, on mobile and on the side. So I mean, it's pretty much the same. On the side, is basically it's going to show. So here's the search bar. Uh, on the side, it'll be right there. Okay, that's going to be your ads. So let's click Save. Um, okay, so I'll get into these extensions as well. I don't know if I even have to because um, I already made a video on that. You can check it out up above uh, where I went over all of that in Google. I'll just have to uh, take a look and see if they're different here from Google. Um, if, if they're exactly the same, I'll just uh, I'll just make that that uh, video instead instead of this one. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave those blank for now. I'm not gonna go over that. So here we have two options here. The, the options here are a bit more limited. So you can only have enhanced, which is uh, kind of the bank system will automatically increase your bid for you, or you can have a manual. So enhanced means, well, basically, if you're not sure how the bidding system works, you're, you're bidding for keywords. There's other people, there's other competitors that just like you want to sell maybe this product, but they're using the same keyword. So obviously you can't have 10,000 ads show up for the same keyword. That's going to make a bad experience for Bing. People aren't going to stop using Bing. Bing's going to lose money. So what do they do? They make bids. Um, they have maybe one or two ads that show for that product. The person who pays the most for that, ad, uh, for that keyword, that, that person's ad will show. So manual means you put your bid as long as that's kind of as, as long as the other person is bidding less than that amount and you are at least a penny more than, than that other competitor, your ad will show. So basically your manual bid, if you set that, it's basically what's the maximum you're willing to spend on this keyword. If you say enhanced, then what happens is, suppose my enhanced bid is $2, but there's a competitor that's bidding for $2.10. The Bing system will automatically make me pay $2.11 in order for my ad to show. So that's enhanced. They will sometimes increase that bid for you so that your ad shows because the, the system knows what the other uh, competing bids are, right? So that's enhanced. If you want to limit your losses, uh, just put manual CPC and, and that should take care of that. So you can also put a, uh, I believe you should be able to put an ad group budget as well. Uh, we'll look into that in a second. So now that we've done that, we've kind of selected all these options. People who want to make money online. Okay, okay, there you go. So so, so that's the ad group bid uh, that I was just talking about a second ago. Um, the, the individual keyword bid that you put will override this ad group bid. So if I put, you know, if I say my bid is five bucks on my keyword and my bid here is 20 cents, I will still pay up to five bucks for that keyword. This is kind of just like um, whatever you set here will be the new default bid. So if I make this, I'm not gonna make it much because I don't want my ad to run, but let's say I make it five bucks. What's gonna happen is every new keyword I add will automatically come in at five bucks. So, so that's really the main point of this ad group uh, bid. So I don't want my ad to run, I'll put five cents. Actually last time on Google when I made that, that, that crappy landing page, it's just for testing purposes. It ran, I had to pay five bucks, all right? So things I do for you. So I'm gonna go into uh, save and valid bid amount. Okay, it's probably too little. Let's try 50 cents. All right, five cents, maybe two. Okay, maybe a buck, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, a buck seems okay. Okay, so let's do that, and I should probably pause this at ASAP because last time I paused it immediately, but I, I I still ended up paying, and it's a bad page. So there you go, your campaign is up and running. Um, you click on campaign, you end up in ad group. You click on the ad group, you end up in keywords, but you would have to go to ads to see your ad, and here's your ad. It says paused. Um, Google actually shows you whether your um, campaign is under review or it's paused or whatnot here it will either say pause or eligible uh, that's it there's no there's no indication that hey my ad is under review um, or that, that that hey it is for sure running it's, it just says eligible so you're kind of unsure whether it's running or, or not but one thing you could do is if you go to keywords um, if you click on well yeah so, so so you would click on this thing and it would show it would tell you showing ads right now it would say yes or no and it would tell you the reason so in this case it's paused um other times it may say 
uh, if this is under review or, or we are not sure why it's happening. So uh, th th that's basically an indication that it is under review. Now, Bing, I really like Bing for a fact that they're open literally 24 seven. You can call them anytime, um, anytime during these times, Monday through Friday and Saturday, I guess they're off Sunday, but their live chat is superb. They're there all the time, literally 24 seven, um, you know, eight days a week. <laughs> they're there, right? They're there all the time and they help you with anything uh, more than just ads. So when I started, I was, I was working with these guys like day in, day out. I, I, I think I was, I was like having full on long monthly conversations with these guys, just back and forth, back and forth. What can I do? How can I prove? Why isn't this working? Why is this working? How do you do this? How do you do that? Uh, so, so use them. Okay. Absolutely. Use them. Start a live chat. Uh, they like to follow up. Sometimes they, they take a bit too long um, to kind of get get into the, the, the question, but they are there and, and they will for sure help you out. Okay. So that's about it. Uh, we've just created our campaign, our ad set and our um, ad. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.